Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the trailer for the upcoming course on Balagha. Balagha, if you're unaware of Balagha, is science in Arabic grammar, which is advanced to do with the expressions that the Arabs use in their sentences. It's divided into three areas, Bayan, Badi, and Ma'ani. Now what we'll be covering in this course is Ilmul Ma'ani only. Okay, so here we have Ayat al-Kursi. Let's just look at the translation of this then. Uh, Allah, there is no deity except Him, the ever-living, the sustainer of all existence. Neither drowsiness overtakes Him nor sleep. To Him belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth. Who is that can uh, that can intercede with Him except by His permission? He knows what is presently before them and what will be after them. And they encompass nothing or not a thing of his knowledge except for what he wills his kursi extends over the heavens and the earth and their preservation ties him not and he is the most high and the most great so if you look at this the translation of this you can see that there's lots of words expressions in here which have been taken from the arabic which are not really understood in english language in that way and there's lots of meanings in the verse which are lost through the translation so let's look at the arabic then so you have in here the word allah allah has been brought at the beginning of the sentence you know what's the effect of that in translation la ilaha illallah it has illa in there which is a istisna you have illa something's missing over there as well you have huwa which is a dhamir a pronoun the effect of bringing pronouns in sentences as well al hayyul qayyum two of allah's names so why bring these two names out of all of his names this is also something discussed in ilm al-ma'ani you have sinatun gnome two degrees of sleep light sleep drowsiness gnome is heavy sleep why mention both of these then you have sinatun that khuduhu which is to do with taking overtaking is mentioned here although it's not really used as overtaking so it has power there lahu for him so why bring lahu forward man the ladhi if you were to remove the and alladhi what effect would the sentence have you don't find it in the english translation okay you have illa again over here which is istithna or qasar so the effect of that as well ya'lam ma bayna aydihim who knows allah knows allah's removed his name bayna aydihim this means in front and having the word bayna aydihim khalfahum two opposites again la yuhituna who are these people who are have no ihata okay, so that's been removed the shay'in this is indefinite word the effect of the indefinite word as well nasha wasi'a kursiyyu Allah's throne Allah's chair his kursi has expanded so all of the, the samawat the skies and the earth you lose this in the English translation okay so la ya'uduhu hifduhuma ya'ud it means to become tired if their preservation does not tire him so ada ya'udu is also a form of tiredness ali al azim two of allah's names much much more you can see amazing this you know this, this this verse just by looking at these things which are lost in the english translation you'll be studying this much much more in al mulman okay so the course is uh you need arabic grammar for this course okay or at some level computer you need a computer you need a skype internet uh, there's only nine spaces available and lessons will be recorded so students who miss out on the lesson are able to catch up again um, also the course is going to be for 12 weeks inshallah and all the major topics are going to be covered and the amazing thing about this course is that we will only be going through Quranic examples and by the end of the course you see for yourself your understanding of the expressions of the Quran will change a lot studying Ilmul Ma'ani and it has been designed just to focus on the Quran only no Arabic poetry nothing else extra which a lot of students find a bit difficult so inshallah if you're ready the details can be found in the description below you can email there Jazakumullah khair Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh